It's not the Uno, the Dose, the Trace, but it's the Quattro! Jizzy, and this is the Nerdy Effect 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Point. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Hopefully, everybody had a fantastic week. You've gotten through your week because it is finally Friday. That's right, it's Friday. Gotta get the gotta get the weekend started. Gotta have a lot of fun. Gotta get things going. Gotta keep on moving on down the road. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. So officially 100% October is over. It makes me sad. It makes me super sad that October is over because I, I love the month of October. Uh, I love the Halloween spirit. I love all that kind of stuff, except for the fact they start cramming Christmas crap in your uh, local stores, no matter where you are, like in August. But for the most part, uh, it just makes me sad that it's that it's over with. Uh, as you can see, we have returned to a normal Nerdy FX stream, with the exception of that crazy skeleton bird. I'm kind of a big fan of that skeleton bird, and uh, if you guys know me very well, Halloween decorations means all year. So, uh, good to see everybody up in here. Retro Mortis, Freddy's Ready, Fizz Kids, Subzilla, who's in a loud-ass restaurant. Uh, the Norvilles, is it both? Uh, Nightbot's here as always. Little French lady, she goes in your pocket. Uh, the Faux Show Show! What's going on, Faux Show Show? Great to see both you guys up in here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Red, yes. Uh, hello, Freddy. And then English Beauty, because you have to bow to royalty. Uh, gobble, gobble, splittage, what? Uh, the Great Northwest Territory Show, what's going on? Um, that was actually supposed to be my flag on Monday. Uh, uh, shipping and all that kind of stuff. It just did not work out in my favor. It made me super sad. So, uh, on our season finale, we will rock our final Canadian flag because lethal, it's a province, not a country. 
no more October. Someone fix my calendar. That's true, Liz Wits, and I appreciate you stopping by. You as well, Delvey Pants. Uh, hopefully you and Mr. Homebody's doing great. What's up, Orca? Good to see you. Uh, where's my mention? There's Boudka. Boudka, playing with the blue wig, being a Ghosted. badass. Um, V-Twin. Appreciate that, V-Twin. I don't know why I looked up there. It's right there in the chat. Uh, Dan Frode, of course, the flannel twin of the Dooba Dooba, J Dooba Doob, J Dooba Dooba Doob, J Dooba Doot 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 Choo choo skadoos. <laughs> Get out of here, camera. <laughs> you have no idea how much that hurts so bad. Uh, territory is not a province, not a country. Shit. Uh, somebody make that. Uh, good to see you. Sup, peeps, up, trans. Hello, hippie chicken shaggy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yo, yo, my gibbs, gibbs. What, what the, what was that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yo, yo, my Gibbs globs are in the house. My Glib globs are in the house. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what's going on, hoax? Oh, what is that? Stop that. Stop that. Go to your room, Freddy. There we go. There we go. Uh, <laughs> V-Twin, good to see you, buddy. I'm still waiting on my blue wig. It's on the way, and it's going to be badass. You're going to rock the hell out of it. Could Stanley Kubrick have been the man behind the even more famous footage of the moon landing? Ooh, uh, good to see you back, Hoax. I love it when you pop in, Hoax, because you always put those crazy different conversations out there in the world. And I actually have heard that particular thing, that Stan Stanley Kubrick was part of the one who filmed the moon landing. So, yeah, you're not wrong. As Fox, to what do we owe the pleasure? Uh, let's see here. The game man still got Halloween stickers, huh? Yeah, I, listen. Uh, the uh, the season finale was, I'm not going to say it was abrupt, but it was definitely not as thought out as I wanted it to be. And and I'll go in and I'll talk about it. I'll talk about why today is the season finale a little bit later down the road. Uh, but for the most part, we're just hanging out, having a little bit of fun, which is what we do here in the Nerdy Effect. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have time to really change this over. It was basically, let me change out my layout from Halloween. Or let's actually build um, lady wrestlers for our um, SCW. Uh, I will go ahead and say this straight up. Um, ah, hosting. Metal Mogwai hosting. Appreciate that, girl. Uh, hopefully you and uh, Mr. Emoji Guy are doing fantastic and um, heavily into bondage. Uh, <laughs> enjoying the snow today, Red? Yeah, this, uh, Red, you got snow? Whoa, the moon rocks are fake? Well, I mean, they're just rocks that are painted to look like the moon. That's a moon rock. Uh, money back at two five four. How you doing, money? Good to see you, man. Uh, <laughs> Frank the snow. Oh, frack the snow. Uh, Dan, 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 you don't like snow? What's going on, man? So today is the season finale of the Nerdy Effect, and this is how hosted. Thank you very much, Allie. This is how this works. Is basically the show is just um, this is the season finale of the show. I'm still gonna be doing the wrestling. Uh, SCW is not gonna stop. SCW is the late night stuff that we do on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And actually starting next week, it'll be on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night with the women's division as we slowly build into adding everybody to 2K19. And then once everybody is built, then we will do another big roster flip where there'll be a show with men and women on Monday, a show with men and women on Tuesday, and one with men and women on Thursday or whatever, whatever I said. Anyway, um, so yeah. That's the way it's going to work. So that's still going to be here. So I'm not going away. I'm just not going to do this show. And basically... Hosted. Thank you very much, DMK. Uh, basically, you know, I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm still going to be here. And I'm still going to... I'm going to play games. And I'm... Oh, what's this thing? Hey, you settle down, Metal. I already know what you're doing. Stop it. Stop it. Go to your room. Make Emoji Guy put on some kind of ball gag. Uh, hang on. Sorry, man. Uh, my mouse in the way. Get, stop it! You're coming back for more! Well, the fish stick says, bring it! You're in so much trouble. Uh, Game of Thrones is ending soon. How do you see it ending? Uh, basically, women ruling the world. Uh, that's how I see it. Which was, you know, that's, if you watch the show or if you read the books, you know that's the level that they're going for. Uh, metal, damn it. 
uh, eight months in a row. So apparently that's how long I've been on Twitch, uh, which is interesting. Hey, man, I'm Mogwai. Hearty heart, heart, heart. Uh, so yeah, the SCW will still be here, and I still plan on playing games and streaming games and stuff like that on the weekends. Um, I, I would like to get back into playing other games rather than um, just wrestling. It'd be nice to play um, Black Ops or uh, something else, because I do plan on picking those up within the next couple of weeks. Uh, Heroes and Villains, good to see you, buddy. Hello, as he says. You say hello, drink jupiter, and then everybody has a good time. Uh, sup, Lala? What? No more comic books? What will I do? Another thing that I thought about is keeping the comic book Wednesdays. Um, if I do, it'll probably be in December. So basically, at least um, at least during the month of November, no real shows. It'll all be SCW or gaming or something like that. Uh, if I do bring back a show, it'll probably be comic books just so I can continue to go through what's in there because it's kind of like a quest now. What is that? Stop it! Go to your room. I done told you. I done told you. Uh, toodles for now. All right, Metal. Take care of yourself. Are you going out to eat? What are you doing? What, like, I have to know where you're going. Uh, I have to run and do some more spoopy things. All right, I have to know where you're going. That way, if we need to set up a search party, we know where to look first. Uh, <laughs> Imp, uh, do nothing stupid again. Punch me. What? Uh, Jizzy, I hate the freaking snow. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, that's fine. I need my nerdy time. I mean, I'm still going to be here. I'm not leaving. It's not like I'm shutting the thing down. I'll still be here playing games. Um, but uh, November, yeah, I just I need a break. And I'll talk about it a little bit later. I'm at Halloween Horror Nights. What are you doing at Halloween Horror Nights? I'm riding rides. Stop asking me questions. Emoji, guys, my joystick. Uh, Winter is coming. I can feel the icy grip creeping. Oh, hang on. We can do that better. Hang on. Winter is coming. I can feel the icy grip creeping around my throat when i breathe in i feel cold <laughs> uh let's see here i want snow you yeah, yeah sunday heat what's going on sunday heat appreciate you stopping back by my man uh i can actually watch your stream without being interrupted by the weather <laughs> Like, for some reason, I picture you, like, on a boat. Like, you're in a boat in the middle of, like, the Indian Ocean or something. And it's like, it's always storming whenever Nerdy's on. And all of a sudden, it's like, calm seas. It's like, I can finally watch the show. And it's the last show. Uh, yo, Sunday Heat. Kristoff. I miss Kristoff. What are you eating, Kristoff? You done know my questions. Uh, Kristoff, Sexy Dan, yes. Uh, do you think the WWF hit the Hartman screw job was a house fix job with uh, Hart in on it? Actually, I don't. I think Bret Hart is a very straight shooter. I, I do not see him as being deceive, uh, dishonest or um, doing anything like that. I, I truly don't. One, one of the biggest things that, that Bret, Hart, um, Bret Hart said is that he just didn't want to lose the belt in Canada. And I think at, at that point, your top two, three superstars in the business has the right to call that. Uh, so him being in on it, I would say no. And I, I would see at this point in time, especially with kayfabe being broken, I do not see him continuing that. I, I see him saying, no, it was all fake. It was all fixed. It was all part of the story. I think it was real. I think it was all real. Uh, Chris, you calm the hell down. We know that. We know that. Sexy J-Dub. Uh, how close to you to San Antonio, nerdy? Um, what was it? F six, uh, seven hours, something like that. Texas is a big state, bro. Uh, toof. Uh, what's up, Chris? Jizzy, I'm making a chimichanga. What are you sticking your chimichanga? Rabbit! What's going on, Rabbit? Good to see you, buddy. Appreciate you stopping back by. Uh, Retro Mortis. Boom. Uh, he had reasonable control for his last 30 days. He could basically dictate his departure. True, but he would not have done it in that fashion. Uh, I shall not J-Dub. Evening, Rabbit. Uh, don't watch WDB. It's going downhill after the Crown Jewel show. Damn, Ali calling his shots already. I see how you're doing. I see how you're doing. Um, but yeah, I do have a plethora of stuff that I have to get through tonight. The reason being is because I have a toy box. <laughs> uh, that that word never works well with a grown man saying it. Uh, I have a box full of toys. No, that doesn't work either. Hang on. I have a chest of toys. No. Um, hmm. A luggage rack full of toys. Eh, that's not going to work. All right. Let's start over. Uh, all right, I have a toy box in my other room. It's filled with toys. On top of my toy box is where I keep my uh, crap to show on the show, right? Oh, toy box. Over the past, it, I mean, some of this stuff is pretty old. I just haven't gotten to it. 
Um, over the past month, two months or something like that, the pile starts to build and it starts to go down. It depends on how the shows go, right? I've got to clean the toy box off. I have to. And my jackass went and spent money today because I told myself don't spend any money. Uh, yeah, it was bad. Oh, uh, oh no, the conspirator that screwed him, but the 30-day control was why he why they were in the situation. True, and he, he pretty much knew he was going to WCW anyway. Damn, I'm going to be in San Antonio f for PAX South. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's uh, How long is it going to drive for you? Ballpark. Uh, toy box. Uh, weather is okay for now. Uh, been hot here, but I'm guessing Canada ain't going to be able to hold on to their snow and we'll get it like always. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much a floodgate. Canada lets down and <laughs> snow just comes piling down to the, to the north. Uh, hola, Fizzy. Box of adult toys. That's in... Uh, not in... You know, I think no matter where you look, you'll find some... Because we used to hide a big red dildo in the show. And that that's a real thing. We used to hide a big red dildo in the back and nobody ever saw it. Um, I don't I don't think it's still in here. <laughs> so, uh, But there used to be adult toys hidden back there. I remember I was doing an, uh, an Instagram live stream one time and I was showing the uh, nerd hole and we were going across like the DVDs and we went across like the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Like the superhero parody porns and stuff. And I was like, oop, oh, turn that away. Uh, a collection of toys, but it's in a box. A collection of toys in a box. Uh, the voice one. What? Uh, fun container filled with joy and toys. <laughs> that hurts. I'm stuffing this chimmy with meat, cheese, lettuce, and oh shit, it's a taco. <laughs> box of dildos. Too cocky. Uh, did you get the rampage? No, I, I didn't. All right, so what Heroes is referencing is um, two weeks ago, I purchased this Street Fighter cabinet. These are brand new. They're from 1UP. We built one on show, right? Uh, they're really cool. They're, for the most part, they're well built. And I wanted the Street Fighter, but I also wanted the Rampage. Uh, when I went to the Walmart, they sell them at a GameStop and a few other places, but the Walmart's where I've seen them because I'm staying away from GameStop. Um, but when I went there, all they had was the Street Fighter. And I don't mean just multiple. They only had one and my gluttonous ass was like hmm if i don't get it i'll never see it again okay so i decided to pick it up my original was to get the rampage which is a walmart exclusive um but they didn't have it they had street fighter and i thought to myself well it's street fighter it's next gen compared to most of them so that's a good one to get today i went back and there's only one left i think they know when i'm coming in the door and they're like Shh, he's coming only put one out and tempt his dumb ass so I, I go to the media section and I'm walking back and I see one damn rampage. And there it goes again. Just that, mm, you don't need to buy this. So I sent a picture to a couple people and I was like, do you think I'll walk home with this? And the answer was no. I, I, I became an adult. Hang on. I became an adult and I did not purchase another arcade cabinet that I already don't have room for. Uh, hosted. But I, I hosted Chris stuff. Thank you, man. Uh, I do want it. There's no doubt about it. I just really have to find a place to put it. And there's not a lot of room. It's so lush. I thought I was lush. Uh, it's uh, how's it going, Northam bro? Uh, we like to share snow for everyone, but except Stack, he gets uh, what? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, the voice one that made you buy more stuff. Oh, that voice. Okay, yeah. Well. Part of it was kind of like what I spent today. And when you see what I got, it was a pure deal. And there's no way I could have done it. I don't want Snow Show. I freaking love mine. Yeah, I mean, I, I do love it. I think that this is great. But I personally wanted the Rampage one. And I I guess myself says you settled. You settled for the Street Fighter when you wanted the Rampage. So I know what would happen is I'll buy the Rampage, put it next to that one. And it'll be like, you know you wanted the Asteroids. No, I don't. Uh, ceiling, selling, ceiling, ceiling, the roof, <laughs> bleh, I know, uh, what's going on, Joker, how the hell you doing, man, uh, you must get it, it's your destiny, no, it's my density, uh, I can't get it, damn, no, the shipping on that would just crush, uh, <laughs> they have a nerdy alert, and it, and it wouldn't even, uh, it wouldn't even plug into your outlet either, sea chicken, you get extra, extra snow for sea chicken, uh, get them all and you'll be broke. So what? It's not, it's, it's not about money. Believe it or not. I don't know. It sounds stupid, but it, it's not about money. It's about room. I have nowhere to put it. I thought about putting it on top of my desk, but 
but then it would block like half my wall and then i think i'd have to have a little step stool to play it so i don't know i i have nowhere to put it i truly don't uh let's see here dude your instagram this account is private what the fuck really dude you think you're taking your ex-girlfriend think a little far <laughs> Oh man, no, send me one, send me a request. I'll get you, man. It, the reason I'll tell you why I have a locked account on Instagram. It's because I don't follow just anybody and I don't want just anybody to follow me. I'm not in it for the follows. I'm in it for the content. I want to follow you because you're my friends or because you, um, you go cool places or you post cool stuff and we can have an interaction. I'm not here to follow, um, random celebrities and be like, oh my God, John Travolta liked my tweet. Yeah, I'm, that's not me. I want to build a relationship with people. That is what the goal should be. So I have it locked. So that way, if let's say Sea Chicken is new to Instagram, he wants to send me a request and be like, oh, there's Sea Chicken. Let's make sure that I know he follows me and I can follow him back. And that way we're continue in that relationship. It has really nothing to do with blocking anybody. I mean, there are those weird fake accounts and stuff, but like, I'm not here for, ah, t-shirts extravaganza, five for a dollar. No, I want to be friends with people. I want to know who I'm following and who's following me. It's, um, I'm very controlling <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Um, so I like to be in control of that. Uh, pops are cheaper and I've got some Allie. Div. Uh, show we always get extra down here. That's true. I love the way you think, Ali D. Mm, get out of Ali D's pocket. Get back in J-Dub. Uh, I'm in the same boat as you, the warehousing. Uh, I'm going to hopefully just stick with the one. Well, uh, I was watching some people on YouTube. They converted this. It's not that difficult to convert this into an emulator. And you can download every single game and play it with it. So, I mean, if, if you're lacking on rooms such as myself, and I know that Retro Mortis has an amazing collection. He's in the same ballpark. You can convert this. For, I think it's like, I want to say $150, $175 to convert it to have like every damn game ever. So that's not very much. And then boom. Uh, now you get more sea chicken. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Eh? Um, it's three times as expensive in Europe. Yeah. I mean, then you'd have to, even if I shipped it to you, Shipping would probably be probably $200. So you're looking at $500 and then you have to buy a converter cord to power it. I don't know, man. I, I think I think you're better off just going, eh, jewel peeler is cheaper. What'd you think of my find? The uh, Turtles crayon box? Is that what you're referring to? Uh, if you leave the trail of Pops, he'll follow you. It's true. I'm a sucker for Pops. <laughs> uh, the Force is strong with you, Jizzy, but you are not a Jedi yet. Damn it, Allie. Is it because I, I haven't watched the uh, Crown Jewel or whatever it's called? Yeah, La Flau. A little friend of makes uh, likes to be controlled. Just saying. Well, yeah, we basically put her in bondage outfit. Uh, and show likes being hit. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm back in the. I'm back in your pocket, J Dub. That's a safe place to be. Uh, but nah, D, you can't play Marble Madness or Missile Command with six button stick layout. <laughs> <laughs> shit oh that's funny sorry i'm late couldn't miss the season finale i appreciate you stopping by letha i really do man uh crown jewel sucked is it over already I, I damn i i thought it was i thought it was this weekend uh the 175 dollars seems like a great investment to get all the games i i think so too i really do and you don't have to damage your hardware to this to install that it's um, you just plug it in, add an extra power source, and maybe drill one hole, and you're good. Like, you don't damage the cabinet, you don't damage the TV screen, so uh, it's not that bad. Uh, you found the Queen Pops? Really want, I have not, oh, somebody must have, because I haven't. Um, uh, Joker, hang on a second, man. I've, I'm, I apologize for this, and let me, um, no, where is he at? There it is, right, stop. There you go, Joker. All right. I got you a sword. All right. Um, where were we? Um, oh, the so today, uh, Joker was apparently, like, messing around in the attic or something, and he stumbled across an old 80s, like, box that had crayons in it, but it had TMNT across the top. I mean, it looks so old school and legit, dude. Uh, you need to post, like a, like, a solid picture on Instagram because it's fantastic. People would love to see it. Accent. Screw you, Lethal. Uh, or Outrun. Uh, just like saying that line, end of line. Uh, George Goody, 
Uh, Letho, you could have watched the reruns. You know this channel shows them. Damn it, I've, I've done like maybe five reruns ever since on Twitch. Settle down, Sea Chicken. What's up, everyone? Sorry I've been busy since the kids came home. That's right, kids, Tasmanian Devils. Letho, I got Red Dead 2 today installing now. It's a big game. Uh, let's see here. Mike Brady, put on your Sunday best, kids. We're going to Sears. Mike Brady. Mike Brady! Mike Brady. Mike Brady. Mike Brady's so bad, he goes to Sears. Uh, let's see here. Nice, Tukaki. You're actually playing a game other than playing with your little pee pee. Your little pee pee. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to do it in English. Listen to you. Yes. Um, is. Is do you have it? If not, gladly send to you. Uh, I I, under, I understand that um, uh, Fizz Kid and, uh, has been teaching you how to how to form sentences. It's Mike Brady. Uh, now those aren't the Mike Brady shades. The Mike Brady shades are, I think they're in there. Uh, Exentence pillow. Oh, Budka. I appreciate you staying up night uh, tonight. I really do appreciate you stopping in. Uh, I know that uh, life is kind of craptacular right now, but uh, know that we all love you very much, and we're all here for you at any point in time you need us. Uh, get some super sleep, all right? Uh, no, I can't take your childhood damn uh, TMNT container. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, no, I don't have one, though. Uh, Brian, 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 me pop the cool. Um, I love to you. Uh, been in a lot of trouble with side effects, so gone. That's all right. That's all right. Mike Brady Shades. Uh, take care, Budka. Goodbye, Budka. English beauty. All right. I'll I'll look. I'll I'll look. Nope. <laughs> uh, apologies. Apologies. Uh. I don't have Mike Brady shades out at the moment, but I do have Vlods. We have Vlods. <laughs> I don't. I don't think these quite work with me. I look like a nerd trying way too hard. Like somebody would pop in and be like, "Nerd!" Uh, they work with Vlod. They don't work with me. I, this no. I, I, you know what's no lenses. Uh, <laughs> pants are elite. I'm sorry. I have to wear pants tonight. I have to wear pants. It's a season finale. You got to dress up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have had my purple coat on. Shit. Uh, are you ever worried about reading text out loud? Cut and paste. Just saying. Dude, I, it, it's funny you say that because I read the text as I'm reading it. And sometimes my brain will read a little faster and I swap words because I am a bit contaminator. Uh, but sometimes, but sometimes, uh, sometimes people will put something in the middle of it just to mess me up. Uh, IKA fizz. Uh, whoa, nerdy has pants on. Blasphemy. I'm so eggs. Uh, if you don't have it, I'll send it to you. Well, you know it would look great on my TMNT shelf. Just saying. Uh, no pants Friday. <laughs> Take them off now. Why are you wearing pants? No pants Friday. You know what? I I'm pretty sure that most of you are wearing pants right now. Delve, I know you're wearing pants. Uh, I know that uh, Lethal is wearing pants, and who else called me out? Heroes. I know here. Dan Frode. Uh, no, Dan Frode's not wearing pants. I I know that for a fact. But I know that Heroes is wearing pants. No, <laughs> no, I am not wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts. Jupiter joke. <laughs> uh, nerd fish stick. Um, maybe later. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking the same. Lethal. I know Listwitz is wearing pants. He, he's at a bowling alley in public. Uh, <laughs> give me the professor glasses back. Uh, yeah, it will. Um, all right, man. Uh, no, not me. Uh, he, he, he. uh pajama shot pajama shorts. <laughs> I'm at work. I have to wear pants. Well, technically, I'm at work, too. Uh, it's just random at the best of times. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I have a tux on for the finale. That's right. You're standing at attention. How do Canadians salute? Is that, is that a Canadian salute? I don't know how Canadians salute. Uh, what are these pants you speak of? Um, hmm. I'm shirtless and sockless. DMK, I believe it, and that's how I'm gonna make your wrestler too. But I'm naked. Uh, pants, <laughs> pants mean boxers here, so I presume trousers. Yes. Uh, it's so. Uh, shit. Uh, 
No trousers Friday? <laughs> Swimming trunks? What the? What? It, isn't it snowing where you're at? Uh, damn right, I'm multitasking. Uh, no, no delve with no pants. You will get more sales. Uh, that's probably true. Uh, bro, I have to. I don't want to scare the kids of my ugly booty cheeks. <laughs> He's juping and upper decking. Yeah, the pants are all the way down. Uh, hmm, maybe I'd sell more phones without pants. More than likely. I, I think I would probably buy a phone. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing sleeping pants. What are sleeping pants? Uh, if Jinxie didn't wear pants, I'd have another. Uh, that's true. That's very true. That's very true. Uh, sorry, sor sorry salute. We salute very politely. I don't think I got to take these off. All right. No more flawed. Um, how do you, uh, no, no knickers Friday. <laughs> My knickers are in a twist. Um, how do you salute politely? So, I mean, it's, it's like this, right? Well, like, like right here, right? So this is, this is an American salute. And I think, I don't know. I, I never did the military. I'm too pussy for that. But I think that like, you have to do like this. If you've like lost a war or something like that, it, it's, it's something like that. I know Canada hasn't, but like, like, how do you salute politely? It's like, sorry. <laughs> later, later. Let me let me get through the things and and stuff. So Buka got a shirt today uh, with the sci-fi planets on it. Everything from Dune, Doctor Who, Star Trek, Star Wars, etc. However, it lists Camino. What what's Camino? Surely incorrect since it's supposed to have um to supposed to have its record expunged. What's a camino? I don't know what a camino camino? Ca 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 me me no camino camino. We smile. Alright! <laughs> Sorry, eh? <laughs> um are you out of updog? I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Are you up, dog? Uh, seen space balls like that? What? <laughs> uh, it's like PJs about pants. Only the put sleeping pants on the label. Interesting. Episode two: Attack of the Clones, the cloning place. That's the name of the cloning place. Um, Char Charmo Mile. Hmm. What? Uh, <laughs> are you sexy motherfucker did you call for an archer what is going on mr hyro <laughs> vigilante how you doing buddy you will save this city come in in no come in in no come in and now hyro this show just got a whole lot more sexy it's true he's wearing he's wearing green leather underwear <laughs> kind of afraid to say it because i don't know what that means it it's like you want to ask like what up dog or something ah i don't know what it means i'm so confused and i'm terrified at the same time hoax uh christoph red walrus hi all right i do have some stuff to get to because like i said at the beginning on top of my box full of treasured goodness or whatever we came up with fresh out of up dog uh nothing dog nothing doggy what's up with you what so you don't have any up dog. No up dog. Nothing doggy. What's up with you? What? Juba duba. All right. Um, somebody mentioned space and I was browsing through the Walmart random section, which is stuff they couldn't sell. So like here, toss a dollar on it. And I picked this little pin case right here. Uh, it's the, uh, the solar system. I know this, it's not a toy, but not everything has to be a toy. I just found it interesting and pretty. On the side, it's got like all the planets that are like glistening and stuff like that. Is that a ruler? No, it's not. It's just little dots and bumps. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool. It opens and uh, a little tray comes out. You can store your pins or something in it. But I thought it was neat. I paid like 50 cents for it. So I don't know. It's kind of cool. I like space and junk. You know, that it's, it's always neat. But they don't have like, they don't have like all the planets. I wish that they would have included like Pluto or something. Uh, it also become, wait. But it also lists Alderaan and the wash blown up by the Death Star. Wasp blown. But it also lists Alderaan. I am so confused. Why would, why would a t-shirt that has Doctor Who list the planet of Alderaan? 
Fizz is back at it. Uh, oh, chamomile. <laughs> Thank you, chamomile. It's tea and biscuits. Uh, RD22, the bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thank you, thank you. He butchered the dad joke. I totally missed it. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, I think it's really cool. And, and you know, you can't beat it for, I think, like 50 cents or something like that. Uh, what is this not a toy concept? I'm sorry. It's so sad. I, a hoax, try me again, man. I, I missed it. Got a dash, practice time, and chewing up phone battery. Listeners, before you go, what is your bowling score? Not now, but like, what's your average bowling score? Uh, JW eating fizz candy again. <laughs> um, I don't see Pluto. Pluto's planet matter. I agree with you, show. Pluto will always be a planet to me, whether Neil deGrasse Tyson and some other five people go, no, it's just a rock. No, it's a planet. Uh, see a listy because of Star Wars on it. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of things have Star Wars. I mean, there's a list like Doctor Who and planets. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand your shirt. Open something already. All right, fine, 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 fine. All right, um... Well, I can't open it. Do I have to open it? Or can I just show something toy related and you'll be satisfied, Revan? Revan. Uh, 175-ish. That's not very good. You know, for a man who bowls like 99% of his Fridays, 175 is pretty crappy. Letting you know, bro. Why is it that Earth has tones of languages, but every other planet in the MCU speaks English? I don't know. It's like a TARDIS effect. Like everything, everything is translated automatically through some kind of nanobites. Uh, we'll get a pick off to you. Thank you, man. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you out of up dog? The joke is to get to someone to say. What's up with you? Okay. All right. So try me again. Well, I'll play your game. I'll play your game. I'll, I'll play. All right. So, all right. We'll, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. I'll, I'll try not to be daft, I think is the proper word. Uh, I'll try not to be so daft. Um, hmm. What? Okay. So I, we've got to appease the Raven gods and, oh, okay. So we started this, um, actually on Wednesday. These are the Diamond Select, yes, Dab, that's me. Uh, these are the Diamond Select Kingdom Hearts that I found at Walgreens. And I paid 5 or $6 a piece, and we're continuing. We opened up Mickey, Pluto, um, the, the Spooky Guys, and um, I can't see it from here. Somebody else. I can't. Oh, Sora. We opened up Sora, and one of them had the Keyblade, too. Uh, but yeah, so this is Goofy, and he comes with a cool Mickey shield. Uh... That's a bit like pointing out planets in sci-fi happening to have dynamic John Williams S. Score playing in the background. They don't consider Pluto the planet shaking my head, but they call Saturn and Jupiter planets, and they're not how you call balls of gas planets. Uh, yeah, exactly. There's no actual landmass that they know of inside Jupiter Saturn. It's all just a ball of gas moving around and all that kind of stuff. I, I agree with you, CJ. I think it's dumb. I. I Pluto's a planet, and then there's like Planet X and Nibiru and all those other ones. Uh, open Robert Allen Baker. Let's do some laundry. All adulting like. I love those too. Very cool. A few Kingdom Hearts. It, the only reason Fizz Kid's saying that is because they haven't made Final Fantasy Pops yet, and he's very salty. Uh, they should all talk like pirates. Can you imagine like Thanos just comes down? And he's like, Yeah, I've got the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, got to close up shop and drive home. Dell, drive safe. Be careful. Mace people. Whatever happens. Uh, very cool. I like Goofy. I do too. Go, go please. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Uh, take care, Delve. Delve, drive safe. Definitely. Very. Yes. Uh, be safe, Delve. In Soviet Russia, Kingdom Hearts screws you. All right. So we're going to open up Goofy. We're going to check them out. And then we'll talk about... Um, I can show those. I don't have to open those. And I don't have... Where is my knife? There it is. All right. So this is the Goofy character. And recently they released uh, Chip and Dale. Not Chip and Dale Rescue Ranger, but Chip and Dale. So they're like this big. And I want them, but I'm waiting for the price to drop. So here's a couple of the other ones. I have not seen this one. I've not seen Roxas yet. Um, and uh, there's Goofy. All right. So let's open them up. Check it out. Bye, Dev. Later, Dev. Finally. I know, Raven. I know. I know. Is there any tape on this? Yes, there's tape. Shit. 
Um, yeah, Iron Man would be funny as a pirate. What's an Iron Man li uh, line from the movie? What, what's a what's a movie from the Iron? What is a line from an Iron Man movie? Words. Okay. So uh, the first piece that actually just jumped out at me was the shield. It's uh, like a Mickey Mouse shield. Little piece on the back to hold it. And then there's Goofy. Now these are not extremely articulate, but they are pretty damn good. I mean, for what you for what I paid, which was like five six dollars tops, this is part of the stuff that was sitting on top of my toy box, which means um, it's been there a while, a while, Brian. Tandis, how you guys doing today? Tandis, are you working right now? Uh, run over a few snowflakes for me, Delve. Oh, ooh. Uh, all right. So there he is. There's Goofy. Gosh, Pete. I don't know if that's a good idea. And of course, it's not going to focus. It's going to stay focused on me. Um, but he doesn't have a knee joint. He does have like a calf joint, which is interesting. Uh, but no knee joint. So he can sit, which is cool. But he can't bend to the Like he can't kneel to, you know, get that football pose. But his arms do go in and out. No elbow joint. And then he can pose his head. But I mean, it's, it's still a diamond select figure. You know who this is instantaneously. Let me see if I can get him to hold the shield. Um, since he doesn't have an elbow, I mean, it's just kind of odd him holding this shield. But whatever you do, you. I am Iron Man, you are. <laughs> I was trying to get something a little bit deeper than that. Groot is a pirate. Yeah, I am Groot. <laughs> no, no, that that's Spider-Man. <laughs> um, I think my Walgreens stopped selling them. I guess they were not selling. No, they're not. That's why they put them on sale. There was like two for like $5 or some crap. But there he is. Goofy. Gosh, Pete. With the shield. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good figure. Um. Uh, see, no knee joints. We need to get speed dicks to focus on what's really important. Final Fantasy, yes. Um, rescue, rescue is going to be in part two on Avengers movie. Rescue. Oh, so, oh, seriously. Now, wh what are your sources besides you? Oh, there's another man not wearing pants. See, chicken, he's not wearing any pants. Uh, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? This microphone's too high. With great power comes great responsibility. Yar. <laughs> you imagine if Uncle Ben's final words were yar? <laughs> Peter! Peter! Come closer. Gaza. With great power comes great responsibility. Yar. <laughs> I, I can't even get through it without laughing. Uh, whoa, disrespected Goofy. He disrespected me by dropping the shield. That's his. That's his crest. That's who he. That's who he protects and who he hides behind. And there he is, showing it off to everybody. And then he drops it himself. He disrespected me and Mickey. Oh boy. Um, and why did Scarecrow keep getting promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field. Uh, not laughing at that. It's not funny. It's not funny. Go to your room. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great iron brew, yar. Um, the pic she posted in her outfit on social media. Well, I mean, let, let's be honest. Is that an actual photo or is that her for like um, Halloween or some kind of crazy teaser? I mean, let, let's be honest. Like, don't break. Don't don't go deep voice either. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, land ho, yar be the infinity jumps into mountains. I don't know. My brain went to that old miner guy that I did that one time. There be gold in them hills. <laughs> there be infinity jumps. Uh, dads even avoid that joke. I mean, it's funny, but I mean, it's so. Uh, you have to sigh before you laugh. You're like, ah. That's funny. All right. Um, so continuing down that train. Now, these I'm not going to open because there's no real point. I already opened the Mickey Mouse. 
This is a variant Mickey Mouse with the exact same expression. They just changed his colors to gray and black rather than the normal Mickey Mouse colors. Uh, he does come with a different kind of sword. Uh, I cannot remember the name of the sword right in, right, right offhand. I, I can't remember. Um, but it's the same Mickey Mouse, so there's no real reason for me to open this at all. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to display the other ones, but I'm not going to display this one. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then also I got the Walgreens exclusive black and gray Sora, which is, um, it's, it's the exact same one. It, all they did was change the color and this one I pretty much like got for free. So yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, damn it. Have to go to work. Uh, cheers on landing the new job. Good luck with the stream. Uh, hoax, man. Yeah, seriously. Uh, straight up. It, it always sucks having to change jobs and then go through that, that crazy interview process where you can't really be yourself because if like an employer knew your real self, they'd be like, Oh no, we're not hiring that jackass. Um, so it's always stressful, always difficult, man. Uh, so I wish nothing but the best for you. And uh, who knows? Maybe drop on one of those things. It's like, uh, it's like, all right. Now I, I got. I'm my gathering that your last name is Hoax. So it's like, uh, Mr. Hoax. I, I think that you're perfect for the job. But uh, what do you think about Flat Earth? And you're like, oh, this is it. This is my chance. Um, so good luck to you, man. Sure. Uh, a skeleton wall. A skeleton walks into a bar, orders a beer, a mop, a great pirate joke. Yar. Orders a beer and a mop. Uh, no, it's real. Look it up online. She's going to be rescued. That would be awesome. I'm totally down for that. Pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel on his crotch. Yar, she's driving me nuts. I know that joke. Uh, bartender. Oh, let's, let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. A pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel on his crotch. Bartender says, Hey, you got a steering wheel on your crotch. Pirate says, Arr, it's driving me nuts. But um, well, everybody, I got to get back to work. Everyone have a great weekend, and Jizzy, congratulations on five years. Technically four, but I appreciate you, Tandis. It's four years. Four years. It's a long time. It's a really long time. I'm bringing back the whispering. Psst. Psst. It's Big Daddy Chuckle. Strong as well. Order me a Jimmy Jonga. I, I, I can't do it forever. Uh, let's see here. Your booty shivers me timbers. Um, your booty starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist the shh. Well, damn. I was gonna. I was trying to throw a different word. Um, of the thriller, uh, jupe until you poop. Damn. What, a, what, a, <laughs> um, bro, not me. Ain't you changing your channel? Good. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not changing my channel. Um, <laughs> that got a little confusing. I thought you were starting a new job. You know what? Let's just agree to disagree. You go start a new job. Uh, what is going on? Uh, BTV. What's going on? Bitch bombs. How you doing girl? Um, hello, Miss Bombs. Yes, uh, Nerdy is doing his public radio voice. I can do, I can do public radio voice. Uh, <laughs> these gold, <laughs> they're golden, they're shops, you are. I have never had a chimichanga. Nice. Um, yes. Ch Listen, the, the reason that I am, um, curvy and lush is because of chimichangas. Um, ASMR time, time to leave. Yes, uh, just left. What, what restaurant you go to, Big Daddy? Uh, no whispering, wait, no whispers. I've been up since 2 a.m. That is not my fault that you don't know how to go to bed at a decent time. I'm just saying, you can't blame me. If I want to whisper, I will whisper the rest of this show just to spite you, DMK. I will whisper forever, DMK. You will go to sleep and hear me whispering. I don't think I can get any closer and whisper. Ah, oh, the weird crap that I do on this show, and that microphone's taken some serious abuse in this past year. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Jizzy loves good radio. It's true, I do. Uh, Tukaki has the best Timmy. That's true. Um, never step foot in the poop deck. Oh, I mean, you got to go there every once in a while, right? Uh, do it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, the uh, the black and white sword are the Walgreens exclusive. But yeah, chimichangas are amazing. Uh, Chris Stuff, are you still here? You need to describe the chimichanga that you had. Uh, such a sexy whisper. Uh, no, that was that was not sexy whispering whatsoever. All right, so the final one of these Kingdom Hearts, and I'm not going to open this one just because I don't think I got the room. This one's kind of tall. Like Mickey Mouse, uh, Pluto, you can stick in small places, but <laughs> this one is a little tall. Uh, but this is Axel, and no, not Shaggy. This is Axel from Kingdom Hearts. And I told you before, I got all these for like, I want to say 5 or $6 a piece, which is a steal for Diamond Select figures. It's a complete steal. So yeah, 100% um, pick this one up. And then on the back, you can see the other ones that we opened. We opened uh, Sora and Mickey. But it's funny, they show Sora with the Keyblade, but I actually had to buy Mickey to get the Keyblade. So I don't understand that. Why didn't they put a weapon with... This one, when they had... I don't know. It's all goofy. Uh, Walgreen? Is that a plant? <laughs> but up uh, Beauty joke. Uh, me and little French lady are highly aroused at the same time. It's just bumping. Pharmacy. Um, it's it's the equivalent of boots. And I recently learned, learned this, and I've talked about it because when I learn something, it's awesome to me, and I want to spread the knowledge. What the hell is that? Um, <laughs> did anybody else see the chat just go, words? Um... But it, it's Boots, and Walgreens recently purchased Boots, or Boots recently purchased Walgreens, and they're the same umbrella corpor corporation where Walgreens is in the States, and I think it's in Canada, and Boots is in, like, the UK and stuff like that. So it's pretty much, like, uh, the same company, just different names. Holy crap, a chimney is a deep-fried burrito. J-Dub, there you go. Um, English, do you get a lot of deep-fried um, foods over there? I would imagine not. Um, Axel, uh, Axel is always the name of a badass. That's a fact. Uh, maybe because Mickey is a god and runs everything. That's true. Oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> instead of deep frying the burrito, it will be an egg. Uh, this is looking more and more like a Mexican sloppy Joe. Yep. In Canada, Walgreens, a plant, they just roll up and shit and smoke it. It's true. Uh, so they sell toys. Very weird pharmacy to get a toy with your pills. I'm not going to lie. Like, anytime I have to go to the doctor's office, like, for whatever reason, like, if I have to go to the hospital, like, uh, hospital's wrong, but, like, if I get sick, right, our Walgreens has, like, a little walk-in clinic, and you go into the clinic, and then you get your shot, or they can prescribe medicine, and then you go right next door in the same building and you can get your prescription filled anytime i have to do that my straight up thing goes i deserve a toy i was an adult i went to the doctor you know because I, I, it's different for for women i think but for men Allie! uh but <laughs> um like when i go to the doctor because I, I have to man up you know I, I have to sit back and I'd be like hmm you're not feeling well you have a cough headache, fever, and a chill, you need to go to the doctor. So then I tell myself, no, I don't need to go to the doctor. My body's fine. It can fight off all these evil bacterias and things like that. So I just don't go to the doctor until, you know, I find myself just dragging myself in. You know, it's like, eh, eh, I, I probably need a shot or some penicillin or something like that. You know, you can't even open one eye. So then they give you a shot in the butt and they say, here, go take these antibiotics and stuff. And then by the time you're out of there, you already feel like crap anyway. And it's like, I really want a Hot Wheels. So it's nice to have the toys. You know, you can make yourself feel a little bit better. <laughs> Parallel parking. You know? Uh, so I actually like that they have a toy aisle. Uh, man cold. <laughs> um, yeah, not very many deep fried Mars bars. Oh, you actually, you dug deep down and got the deep fried candy bars? Yes. Um, one of the greatest things I've ever put in my mouth was a deep fried moon pie. And I know you don't know what a moon pie is, but picture like, like, um, broken up graham crackers and marshmallow and chocolate. So it's like a, it's sort of like a s'mores with a little bit different uh, taste, but it's all in one little thing. And then uh, like a little uh, pie 
and then they deep fried that and they put ice cream and chocolate and raspberry sauce and whipped cream oh my god oh i can taste it now wait a minute let me savor this yeah uh led with the, the damn aliens man uh there what, what is that what the is that butter what is i'm not eating butter again sorry uh, why did the pirate bury an eye patch because he couldn't afford an iPad? Damn, the power of the mind is not to be underestimated. That's a fact. A man called, um, like a wagon wheel. Oh, yeah, 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 kind of like a wagon wheel. Yeah, but a little thicker. Uh, nice parallel parking. Thank you, J-Dub. Uh, did you see the aliens watching you? Yes, there was lots. Uh, too cocky throwing out butter? I don't know. Ooh, moon pie. Those are big here in the Midwest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pff, oh. Uh, we have whoopie pies here. Not the same. It's not the same. What was Dan Frode's fucking... <laughs> you made me curse, man. A pirate was on his ship and his watchman comes to him and says, I enemy ship on the horizon. The captain says, bring me my red shirt. Um... No man gets injured or dies, so the watchman comes to him and asks, why did you want your red shirt? The captain says, because if I got injured, they wouldn't see and keep on, they wouldn't see me get injured and keep on fighting. So the watchman comes to him and says, 20 enemy ships on the horizon. The captain says, bring me my brown pants. Ha ha. Dan Fro with a damn monstrous pirate joke. Uh, Dutch moon pies. Oh, well, I take that back. I take back my ear flick and, and all that stuff. You may have those uh, because it sounds so fancy. Uh, are you going to see Bohemian Rhapsody? I will eventually see it. I'm not going to go see it in theaters. Um, I was actually talking to a guy at work, and he said that he wants to go see Bohemian Rhapsody uh, in the theaters for the sound. And when he said it, I'm like, that actually makes a whole lot of sense. It would be like, stop it! You would want, <laughs> you would definitely want to uh, experience that with the surround sound. Um, so if you do, it's it's awesome. Aha! Pirate story for this amazing crew. Uh, little French lady with, uh, I guess it's a little kissy faces. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, we have not showed a pop to my knowledge tonight, and this shows you exactly how organized I am. There is a whole bunch of stuff over here that I haven't cleaned up from the past five, past, the past five days of streaming. So I, I have to make sure that I'm reaching from this side and going to this side. Uh, Paul! <laughs> uh, are those devils or are they guys with sunglasses? Oh, yeah. Just... Like... Like this eyebrow, I can do anytime necessary. But the other one, it's a struggle. Hang on. It's struggling. Hang on. Nope. <laughs> Any new pops? Uh, don't do that too much. You'll get uh, shags to work. What? Wow. <laughs> Man, the, the sentence of English beauty and Norville Rogers. Like, I was reading the sentence and then it moved up. Oh, don't do that too much. You'll get wrinkles. It goes good with my uh, lush and curviness. Wrinkles. Oh, my God. Oh, don't do that too much. <laughs> Gotta get shags to work. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen, if you keep doing the eyebrow thing, I have to take Shaggy to work. Why is English Beauty driving Shaggy to work? Ah, commute. All right. <laughs> Norville Rogers, I appreciate you guys stopping in. Drive safe up there. Um, it was great to see a hippie chicken Shaggy. Uh, <laughs> I've already got wrinkles, so it just adds to the effect. Vape, train, rush. Nope, hang on. I, when I started it, the vape was like down here somewhere and I wasn't ready for it. Where's my banana? <laughs> um, love to you all. 
appreciate that. All right. Uh, so let's do a pop. This is one of the ones that I was seriously wanting as soon as I saw that it came out. Um, this is from Disney's Gargoyles. Gargoyles was a TV show, cartoon, back in the 90s, and I absolutely loved it. I thought the story was really well told. Um, I had some of the action figures back then, and believe it or not, I have zero Gargoyles action figures. They're kind of on the expensive side, and I've never pulled the trigger again. Eventually, I'll get them. Rev! Um, uh, eventually I'll get, get some more, but this one, when they came out, I was like, pops, it's going to be readily available. It's not going to be super expensive. So I've got to get, of course, Goliath, Goliath in stone. They made all the gargoyles that they made as regular pops, but they also made them in stone as well. And as soon as I saw this, I knew that I had to get at least a couple of them to kind of like line some of the top shelves with like actual stone gargoyles. I thought that would look so cool and so badass. Unfortunately, this is the only one that I've been able to find, and it's uh, Goliath in Stone. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's open it up. Let's see what Goliath in Stone is like all the way around. Banana! Yes! <laughs> Squeeze it! Uh, sorry. Uh, Goliath is a big daddy of the gargoyles. That's true. That's true. He's the leader. He's the leader. So I was planning on opening this one up anyway, so this is... Definitely on point. Dan Fro with a camera, and what is that? The uh, Saint's helmet in between? So there he is. Goliath out the box. I think he looks solid. I mean, I know basically all they did was gray the figure that they already made, and they can double down. So they said, let's make one mold. Uh, so boom, right here. Let's paint one and not paint the other one. It made it in stone. They'll make a billion dollars. Pop logic. Goal! Did I throw a football and black out or something? What? 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 Uh, all you need is a train sound effect. Yay. Shut up, fool. Uh, that wasn't me. My mouth didn't even move. Shut up, fool. See? Quit your jibble-jabble. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Stone Goliath. He's definitely going to be put up in the back somewhere. So not only will you try to find a big red dildo, but you always always try to find the Stone Goliath. Not Stone Goliath. We're not in Canada. Canada. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, it feels so much different in here. Uh, nice Punishers. Thank you, Juba Dooba Dooba. And Nerdy was, who cares about the car? I'm saving the comic books. No, no, there was, there was no cars in the garage. It was just, um, like, the, the cars, the, there was a two-car, like, built-out garage on the outside, and there was no cars in the garage at all at that point. So... And I tried. I had the hose. I was like, mm, mm, nope, didn't make it. Didn't make it. All right. Uh, so now I can put those away and archive them into the uh, uh, to the uh, comic vault. So let's move on. Let's talk about a little bit of um, uh, Marvel Legends. I actually picked this up today. I am ashamed of myself, but this is one that I just could not pass on. I know I've said this before. I am trying really hard not to spend so much money on things, mainly because of this arcade cabinet and the one that I almost bought again today. Um, but when the opportunity arises, I have to, I have to do it. I have to pull the trigger. I paid retail for it. I paid twenty dollars for it, which is normal. Nerdy Effect Stream is sponsored by Vitamin Water and Frito Lay's Chili Cheese Chips. Oh yeah! So this is from the Venom Build a Figure series. Carnage. Now, I already have an original Carnage for the Marvel Legends, but this one comes with a Cletus Cassidy swappable head right there. And, of course, the giant Venom head for the big, large Venom Build-A-Figure right there. Or Monster Venom, I apologize. So, I'm still missing uh, three of these in order to build him, but this is a wave that has come out. It's um, semi-available, so you can find it. So, I'm going to try to collect them all. Like, this is one of those where I give myself a pass for buying it. Because I do collect Marvel Legends. I do like them. They're well-kept figures. Um, they kind of hold their value, too. So, um, finding this one in the wild was pretty awesome. Even though I do have the original one right there. I would go get it, but it's buried in the wall. Uh, I like both of those things. Both of what things? Uh, boobs and boob windows? I do, too. If I had a garage, I would use it for my model train. That would be awesome. That would look really cool in there. Uh, there will be carnage. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a I'm a big carnage fan. Um, I, I always like the suicidal tendencies of Cletus Cassidy. I think that um, he's a perfect villain. 
He was perfectly crafted. The way that they told the story between Venom and Spider-Man and Spider-Man's blood and the Venom uh, the symbiote going together to create carnage on a mass murder, Cletus Cassidy, and then of course the Maximum Carnage series that came out of, about it. Um, I just th I just think that he is such a great villain, and I will always be a fan of Carnage. I just don't think they could portray him properly in a movie. Just putting that out there, putting that to the world. My uncle's name is Cletus. Well, it's Cledetius. The D is silent. <laughs> Fatality going around giving people the silent D. It happens. Uh, all right, so let's get on and talk about the part of my day that kind of made me um, break my bank. <laughs> I talked about this, I think it was on Monday, uh, with the Diamond Select figures with, uh, hang on, hold up, wait a minute, with the Diamond Select figures. I talked about the fact that Diamond Select and Walgreens had teamed up to make um, Nightmare on Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas figures the same way they did those. They came out for Halloween. They were out at Walgreens. It's the only place that I saw them was at Walgreens, and they are Diamond Select figures in that style, in that size. But they were fourteen dollars a piece, something like that. And I just did not want to pay fourteen dollars a piece. I just I could not bring myself to do that. Diamonds are forever. I just could not bring myself to pay $14 a piece for these figures. They're good, and technically they're probably worth it, but I just could not pull the trigger. And part of me was because I know that these Diamond Selects eventually go on sale. Well, today I found myself in a Walgreens, unbeknownst to myself, and uh, uh, hmm, I found them. And I found them on sale. What is going on, Robert Allen Baker? That's me. My name is Robert Allen Baker. I'm a washing and drying machine. Who do 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 do? Good to see you, Robert. I appreciate you stopping by, man. All right. So these are the Nightmare Before Christmas 25 Years Edition Diamond Select. And I picked up Sally and Mummy Boy. And I'm going to tell you, I picked them up. I had them in my hands right i had i had the whole the whole series in my hands and there was no price tag there was nothing to tell me that they were on sale or not now it's a couple days after halloween you know so i'm kind of out there you know i'm lingering i'm like oh i don't know and i go up to the counter and i say hey man i'm very curious have are these part of the halloween sale because they had like 50 percent off 75 percent off or buy two get one free all Halloween stuff. Now, these were in the Halloween area, but there was no uh, exclusive sticker or anything on it, right? So I take him up there and I say, hey, are these on sale? And he scans it and he goes, bloop. No, they're still, no, they're, they're still normal price. And I said, what's the normal price? He says, $14.99. And I'm like, mm, $14.99. Now, they're cool. They're cool. They're neat. They're nice. They're good. But to me, personally, they're not $14.99 nice, right? I'll pay... $14.99 for a Marvel Legend, but not for the Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Debbie Pants! Welcome back, girl. Did, was, was the drive home safe? Uh, I love listening to those words, Trance. I'm on a boat. Ooh, English Beauty's intrigued. Uh, all right, so I then ask him, I say, but these are Halloween. They're Halloween, aren't they? Everything in your Halloween section is, you know... 50% off. Don't you want to give me 50% off? And he's like, sir, stop rubbing the thing on your face. And I'm like, I can't. Um, so I said, oh, okay, well, um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to pass. And he says, hang on, let me call my manager. And I'm like, that's good. So he gets on the phone, he calls his manager and he says, yeah, um, so he's got these, um, He's got these dolls up here. He said dolls. Uh, he said he's got these dolls up here, and they're they're definitely Halloween, but they're not marked down in the system. And yeah, but they're not marked down. You sure? Okay. Hangs up the phone, turns around, and he goes, "Yeah, they're fifty percent off." <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
This was 50% off, so I paid a whopping seven doll hairs and 50 cents for Sally and Mummy Boy. The puppy eyes work. Uh, just had, um, just to add on my day, the route I take home was closed due to flooding. It's flooding where you're at? You need to move to Texas. Uh, I'm so sorry, Dove. That does suck a lot. A nerdy using his feminine charms. I think I do. I use my lush curviness and I get deals. Uh, the puppy eyes work. Take it on the wine tonight, Delvo. That's amazing. Damn it. Um, English, I've told this on, I've told this on the story, uh, the story before is for some reason I get deals. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I wish that I knew how it worked, but we did, uh, the first nerd fest in 2016 and we went to Indianapolis and Indianapolis was probably one of the cleanest cities I've ever been in my life. I would, I, you could, you could lick the streets and come back and go, the snozberries taste like snozberries. Like it was a beautiful city. I love everything about it. Um, it was starting to get cold, so you had that little crisp. You needed like a light jacket. It was nice. Uh, I got I got distracted. Anyway, um, we went to a con there, a comic con there. It was just a small little convention one, like in the lobby of a hotel. And Vinny was there. Vinny, old school watcher of the show. Uh, Vinny was there. We were in a booth, and there were this guy was selling magnets, um, like uh, old school um, board game magnets. And the, um, the guy who's running the booth, he comes up and we start talking and chatting about the magnets. And I was definitely going to buy a couple of the magnets because I think they're neat. They're easy to talk about on the show and they display really well. So I was going to buy a couple of the magnets, right? And so we're talking, we're chatting it up, you know, we're having a good time or whatever. And he goes, um, you know, I'm just going to give you these magnets. Why? Why? Why would you give me these? I'm going to pay you money for these magnets. He goes... Yeah, but you really like them, and you know, well, you know, th and it, I, you should just have these magnets. And Vinny was there to witness this. Like he's standing right there, and I look up and I look at him. He goes, "Whatever," and just leaves. And I'm just, I don't know what to do. Like I don't know what to do with that. So I today, 100%, I don't think puppy dog eyes or whatever the hell that is worked on the guy. But me talking to the guy uh, got him to like magically, you know, uh, Professor X telepathically call his manager and then boom, 750 right there for the Sally. I'm not going to open these right now. I think I'm going to keep them in the box. So there's, and it's not really a value thing. It's just that this box looks really, really crisp. Uh, I was too. Uh, you got a secret. I got a secret. Oh no. I forgot. That's right. Heroes was there too. Um, it, it, it's your superpower. I don't remember what my superpower was. Let me see your Tootsie Roll. I had a Tootsie Roll. Hell yeah. Uh, so you have him to reach around for a discount. Don't be jealous because I didn't do it on you. Um, yeah, flirting works great for me. See, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Jay is savage. What's going on, man? Appreciate you stopping in tonight. Seven fifty. That's crazy. Magically delicious. Yeah, seven fifty for the Sally figure and the Mummy Boy. But I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. You thought that I was done, but I'm not done. Boom. I ended up with pajama, pajama, Jack with zero. The only reason I picked this up is not because Jack in the pajama suit. It's because zero. How awesome is that? It's perfectly sculpted. It's perfect. It also comes with a stand that will let zero fly behind any figure that you put him with. So how badass is that, right? These are some of the other ones. Uh, but yeah, for $7.50 freaking cents, boom! Yeah, but I'm not done yet. Then I also got Jack the Pumpkin King. This one was going home with me no matter what. If it was $14 today, I was buying this one. This is an amazing figure right there. The fire torch and everything. This one was going home $14 or not. But again, $7.50. <laughs> uh, ooh, the guy even wanted a hug from you. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to oblige the hug. Yeah, uh, that's true. He did. He did want a hug. You're right. Uh, I love the doggy. Uh, the guy secretly watch uh, the guy secretly watches your show. I I know I was wearing the shirt, um, but 
I think I was also wearing the kilt that day too. Yeah, because that was the um, the Vigo. That was Vigo as well. Damn, Jack is taller than the box. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's bent in half trying to get in there. But look at that. Look how cool that is. Yeah, I I, I had to have this one. I had to have this one. Badass, badass. Yeah, super sweet. But I'm not done yet. Then. This is the creme de la creme. Boom. Vampire Jack and Winged Demon. How cool is that, Jack? <laughs> I can't scream. But yeah, look at this, dude. And it's even a larger box than the other one. So I thought it was going to be a little bit more expensive. Maybe like $8.95 or something like that. But no. No, still seven doll hairs and fifty cents. Now, what, what's crazy is you got to think about this. Um, who was it? Uh, Trance. Two for the price of one. It's true. Two for the price of one. But that also starts to add up. It's like the Dollar General store. You know, like oh, everything's a dollar. Oh, cool. And then you walk out with seventy-five dollars worth of stuff at the dollar store. So you're like, ah, maybe I went a little bit too overboard, thinking it's just a dollar. So I ended up spending. I think it was like thirty-seven dollars, something like that. That's with taxes and everything. You know, but thirty-seven dollars is pretty damn good for these four Diamond Select Nightmare Before Christmas figures. And that's just the that's why I like to hunt. That's part of it. That's that euphoric buildup that I get. I went into Walgreens looking for these. That's why I went to Walgreens. I knew they were there, and I know that's after Halloween, so chances are they're going to be on sale. I knew that. So me going in was I had that... <sighs> That ah, that that burning in my head, kind of like oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And when I found the Pumpkin King one, I was like, ah, it, that that drug or whatever the hell's in the back of my spinal cord just started leaking down. I was like, that's the stuff, that's it, man. Yeah. And so, and then I found the other ones, and that's when it started dawning on me that ah, oh, I may have to pay full price, and that's never good. It's never good to pay pay full price. Um, so when I got up there, I talked to the guy and he says, yeah, man, they're, they're 50% off, which is like Trent said, two for one. That's when it goes, nah, yeah, that's the good stuff, man. Yeah. So I got my, um, I got my drug for today, I think, um, with these four figures. I 100% did. Ooh, I want, uh, yes, I had the kilt on. Damn. So jelly. Nice pickups. It makes a great, uh, it makes a great collection. It does. It's all 25% tax. It, it is. There's a lot of tax. Um, uh, the um, Here, the tax is pretty damn high. So it doesn't matter what it is, liquor, cigarettes, whatever you buy, the tax is always going to bite you in the ass with it. So saving a little bit of money does help. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I, I, felt, I felt better after that. Uh, I like hunting for model train wagons because you get a lot of different ones. I mean, that, that's fine. Like, just because my collection is so stupid ridiculous doesn't mean that um, you can't get the same feeling from whatever you collect. Whether it's comic books, video games, trains, uh, uh, Dan Fro collects my underwear, anything like that, um, straight off the gate, it's it, you get that... <sighs> Someone says ass biting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Lethal. You made me say it. You said it. We're all good. Ali, I love seeing your trains. I do too. I love that. That's that's one thing that I don't have is monotrain anything. I don't have any Lionels or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it's really cool. I wish that I had the room. I think if I had like a dream room or something, it would be really cool to have the USS flag. If you don't know, that's like the biggest playset ever made in the history of toys. Um, it's a G.I. Joe uh, aircraft carrier, but have like a train that's kind of like the same size as a G.I. Joe running around the outside perimeter of that. Now, how freaking cool would that be? Uh, let's see here. I sit down the line and I go, I have to have that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said it first. I'm just happy you said it. Well, we had that discussion with Hoax earlier. I say a lot of stuff. Let's see here. Uh, thanks, Robert Allen Baker. Uh, get one to put on your Xmas tree this year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I should. I should. I should get a train and put it under the... Uh, that's a good idea. I like that. Um, I had a Transformers train when I was a kid. Like, the, the transforming train? Orca. What's that called? Because that thing's worth, like, some serious moolah. Uh, okay, so we're... Um, 
we're at the part of the show where I think that I need to uh, talk about why the show is going on a break. I'm going to show one more thing after that, and then we're going to call it a night. Um, so, the show generally has like a countdown towards. If you watch any of the seasons before, it has a countdown. It's like, hey, uh, in two weeks, uh, we're uh, that's the season finale. But <clears throat> this one kind of came pretty quick. Um, I, I told myself that I needed to up my stream game. This was a couple months ago. This is me sitting down. Orca is a transforming train. Motor goat. I told myself that I needed to up my streaming game because I'm low level on Twitch. Uh, you know, not a lot of people know that I'm here and I need to be here as much as possible for people to sort of like come in and notice and, and you know, sort of join the family and have a lot of fun. So I knew that I had to up my stream game. I upped it so hard that I stream seven days a week and twice on uh, Wednesdays and sometimes twice on Fridays and Mondays as well, depending on how I was feeling. So that's a lot. And then I've, I always say it before, I up my um, I up my stream game, but I still have to go to work. I still have a full-time 40 plus hour a week job. Well, recently, I it's not a promotion, but it's a um, here, if you learn more of this stuff, we will pay you more eventually. So I started taking these um, classes during work. So I'm working, taking these classes and coming home doing the show. If you don't get how that is, it's mentally draining. Um, I basically work two full-time jobs and then have minimal time to even stop and think. And another point with it is um, watching people. I don't get to watch anybody's shows. There's so many people that I miss and um, Lethal points it out every once in a while is the fact that I don't get to game with anybody. And that is a big thing. Uh, Heroes has said it before too. It sort of does break my heart, you know, because like I used to play games all the time. We play Rocket League after the show. Um, we play Fallout and hang out and things like that. But I don't have the energy to do that anymore because all I'm doing is streaming. And I'm doing it because I love both. I love streaming. I love hanging out with you guys. But it's very, very difficult to do that on top of it and keep your head straight. It's, I, I know it sounds weird, um, but yeah, I mean, like the work has to come first. You know, it, it definitely has to. But my job is a physical job. My, my human being job is a physical job. And then they added this mental job on top of it. So I don't even get to like, you know, just carry heavy crap around all day and then come home. No, I've got to hairy, heavy, carry heavy crap and then, or, or hairy heavy crap. Um, and then have to work on computers and numbers and, and stuff like that. And then I have to come home and stream. So it's mentally and physically taking a toll on me and I could probably keep it up and be all right, but it's, I can feel the wear. I can feel the wear coming on faster than I thought. So this was, uh, September when this started kicking in, when the, the job sort of upped itself and then I upped my streaming schedule to a lot more. And I'm sorry I missed your comments. I'll, I'll go back and read it, I promise. Um, but after all that, I told myself I need to get through October because October is my favorite month. And I've always, since I've done this show, and while technically it says 5.0, it's still the fourth year. Um, 1.0 and 2.0 were in the same year. Um, but I've every year I have done um, Halloween shows where I dress up in different outfits, costumes, and things like that. Uh, just because I do enjoy it. I love doing that. Um, so I told myself, you have to get through October. You get through October, and then we will reevaluate. And with the stress with the costumes and things like that, trying to make things work, and the, the paint and, and all that, um, it really took like triple toll on me. So Monday, when I was uh, wrapping the bandages and stuff on it, like I knew that I had not a lot left. It was, it was beyond f running on fumes. It was really low. Um, so I'm wrapping these bandages around my head and I'm just sitting, I'm, I'm looking in the mirror, like you're going to crash. Like I am, I'm going to, I'm going to crash either on the stream or crash going into work physically. Something's going to happen. I need to take a step back and spread myself, um, or gather myself and stop spreading myself too thin. Um, so of course on Wednesday when we did the Ronald McDonald, which I thought was freaking flawless. I know it scared a couple people, um, but I thought it was flawless. When I, when I was doing the Ronald McDonald, I was like, okay, this is the last big one. And then we've got to do a finale. We've got, we've got to wrap it up. Um, cause 
burning the candle on both ends and then lighting a match in the middle is never good for anybody. So I need to take some time off uh, from the show. All right. Uh, spreading yourself. Ew. Um, so I need to take some time off from the show. And the show is this. It is me in front of the camera creating content from myself. Um, it's There's a lot that goes into it. Coming up with things to talk about, topics of the day, um, uh, finding material to show and things like that. I need to take a time off from that. I need to sit back. I need to be able to come home and just sit and let my mind like even out. And that way I'm not... Because right now, for the past couple of months, as at least October, as soon as I would get home, it was shower, show. I mean, that was it. It was drive sometimes an hour to an hour and 45 minutes home, shower, show, time, show time. And anything that had a costume to it, that was drive faster, get home, shower, makeup show, you know? So it was, it was, it's, it was very mentally draining. And I, I know this is stupid. I, I say a lot of the same things, but I just, I, I want you guys to know that like, I'm not taking a break because of you guys. I'm taking a break because of me. And I, I want to bring, <laughs> I want to bring you the best content that I can possibly do. And the last month or so I felt personally, the show is slipping and it's my fault. And I should never put an inferior product out there. I can do better better shows with better quality. And I don't mean like pixelation. I mean I can be I can do this better and I haven't been. And that's that's on me and it shouldn't be. You guys should be able to sit down and have a full one hundred percent show that nothing has to happen. You can just enjoy yourself. Um I, I Anybody that remember, I used to do flag facts where we would put a new flag up and then I would tell you what all this stuff means. That's another thing of going beyond. Um, I mean, some people found it boring, but it's content and it's different and it's entertaining. Um, things like that. I would, I really would like to bring that kind of stuff back. Uh, questions of the day. Um, nerd quotes, those kind of things I don't do anymore because I don't have the time to look that up. Um, welcome to today was one of my favorite things where I would look up what special holiday was today and we would talk about it. Would it be like wear green shoes day? I don't, I don't have the time to look up the information and, and figure out what to talk about. There's things like that, that I miss from the old show that I just run myself too thin where it's okay. I can either stream a game or I can look this stuff up, you know, or it, it, I don't know. It, it gets to that point where I need to just take some time off and just chillax. And anyway, I, I know I'm repeating a lot, but I, I want you guys to just get on, you know, where my head's at. Uh, you deserve, I missed a lot of your comments. And I apologize. Uh, you've been amazing with your improv. Congratulations. Uh, go home and relax, open a beer and miss the toilet, man. Thanks. I'm sorry. Um, well, we enjoyed your extra effort, sir. Sometimes life comes first. We understand. Stop using my damn phrases against me, Fox. Um, I cry. Don't be crying. Um, just getting to hang uh, with you is the best. I appreciate that. Um, it's always been great, bro. I know, J-Dub. Ride or die, man. Um, you host a show? <laughs> I was here for the porn. That happens in this hole right here. Um, <laughs> revival of Flatfax book. Yeah. Uh, one of the hardest working guys in the game. Love you, but I appreciate that, Chris. I really do. Your health comes first. It is. Uh, there was there was one show. I, I don't remember the show. And it was, I want to say it was before October. And I, 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 I was going to go back and watch it. And then I thought I didn't. But I was talking so fast during one of these shows. I actually, <laughs> thank you, Freddie. I actually blacked out behind my eyes. I, I was talking about something. I was doing the the quick improv, blah, 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 blah. And I remember I blacked out and my eyes didn't close, but I started, when it, when they came back on, they started seeing spots and I was like, that is not good. And I don't know what that is. It was like, it was like a click, like, like you close your eyes and then spots came on, but I'm still talking about stuff. And I'm like, that's not good. Something, something's off right there. Um, but yeah, it's, um, I don't, I, I, I love this show. I love hanging out with you guys. And I love talking about crazy, goofy stuff that I find and stuff like that. And it pains me to, to say that I have to go on break. It always hurt me to go on break before, but being on Twitch, I haven't stopped since I started. I've not had, I had like 
I want to say two weeks off or something like that since April. And that's a lot. That's a lot of streaming. Um, go to Aruba ooh, or the UK to chillax. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to Lethal's Anus. Dan Frode's couch. Uh, <laughs> I almost had it. I almost had it. If you're ever in the Portland, Oregon, Aaron, hit me up. That's nothing. I would love to do some traveling, too. Uh, <laughs> I know you say it, but it applies to you, dildo. Um, it's not a Tuma. I don't think it is. I um, always thought that our stream was awesome and I will, that, uh, that your stream was awesome. You have to know that we all love you. I, I know. I, I feel the love. I, there's no point. I, I do. And that's the part that, that, that hurts about not doing the show, not being here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like the, the wrestling stuff, stuff like that, that's fine. But the Monday, Wednesday, Friday show is something that I have molded and created over the past four years. Um, we've built a community. We built a family. And not a lot of people can say that on any platform. You know, if you watch some of these Twitch guys that have this, the comments scrolling past, they don't know who's in there. They may see a moderator or something like that and be like, hey, there's Phil. But that's it. They don't have what we have created here. And, you know, it's it's like, it's like bye, family. And that hurts. I, it, it hurts me to do that. But I, I don't know. I, I, have, I have to take a break. Uh, hits me the same shit on IG, Fox. It's true. Uh, the chimichanga was disgusting. <laughs> Come to Memphis. Um, he gets us and we got him. That's true. Shay with the cookie love. Uh, even if this... Even if this is my fourth show. Yeah, you're not here a lot anymore, Fox. Um, just me, we got a brother hit on IG a lot. That's true. Phil! Yeah, you calm down. Um, lots of sea chicken slip and slides coming. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm here. It's a family and I felt love between you guys when I first came into the stream. And it, it is. It's true. It, it, it does. For the most part, it doesn't really matter who you are. As, as long as you're like, hey, how you guys doing? Like Paul. Paul's a new dude. He's only been here, I want to say maybe, a, there he is right there, right there at the bottom. Uh, Paul's only been here maybe a couple weeks tops, and I love that dude. Um, so yeah, it's it's funny how we sort of click as a family and just grow as um, as we should. Come to Canada, we know how to relax. It's legal. Just saying, eh? Uh, in your time off, read Gary Vanderchuk's book, Crush. Um, if you are not getting an audio book... <laughs> I thought that was Freddy again. Thank you very much, Subzilla. Uh, and listen to your commute. I think you will give it some boost. Um, Gary Vanderchuk. All right, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. I've got it. I've got it wrote down. Um, Subzilla and Freddy. Thank you for that as well. Yeah, I wasn't trying to take the show down or anything. I just want you guys to understand where I'm at. And, you know, my, my archive speaks for itself. Like, I have almost a hundred videos archived on Twitch. That's a lot. That's a lot. You know, three shows a week on top of the ASMR, on the weekend stuff, um, all the wrestling and stuff like that. It is, there's a lot of content. I, I'm on here all the time. So, let's get to the good news. Since you guys kind of understand you, you're on the same playing field that I'm at. Um, uh, so... This is how it's going to work. I'm not going away. I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm still going to be here. I'm just not going to be here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm cutting those shows out. They're, they're gone at least until January. Um, <clears throat> my, um, my, my, my point O always transfers around January 19th. So that's when the shows will return with Nerdy Effects 6.0 is January 19th, somewhere in there. Um, but that's not to say that I'm not going to do a Thanksgiving special, a holiday special, a random special. So I, I, I have to do a Christmas special this year. I have to do it. I've got to get Orca here. Um, we've got to do another Christmas special again. Uh, so that's going to happen. It, it, it will follow under the 5.0 banner. It just won't be considered a show, right? So I'm still going to be here. There's I'm not leaving. Uh, and I'm still going to do the SCW stuff. SCW is not leaving. We're actually adding a third night to it. We're going to be Monday. Oh, sorry, we're going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night SCW action. And I will be doing this still late night creative streams. You know, when I'm creating the characters and moving them over, that's still going to happen on Mondays. Maybe not Fridays, but definitely Sundays and Mondays of creating the characters. So that's still going to be there. 
And we're still going to do the same old shows. It's just not going to be the during the day stuff. And that's just um, unfortunately how it has to be. So I'm not leaving. But what that does do is it opens me up for a lot more time to game and to chat and to rebuild some of these relationships that by my fault 100% that sort of slipped off like and and I'll, the biggest example is heroes i love heroes heroes is a a personal friend of mine that i consider a brother i really do i love heroes and villains um i'm okay at admitting that and i have just not had the time to talk to him and see how he's doing and it hurts me a lot to not be able to talk to him and a lot of other people. Um, so by cutting the shows out, I'll have a lot more energy and a lot more time to be able to do that kind of stuff. And um, that is what really gives me um, a lot of hope and joy uh, about the upcoming months. So, all right, uh, mark your calendars, kids. Yeah, uh, I want to come for a Christmas special. <laughs> Looks on the black market for children buyers. I'm coming home, nerdy. Works fault. Joop, 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 joop. Uh, I, I, it applies to a lot of people. I just use heroes as an example. Um, you make me tear up. Don't be tearing. Poop. There you go. We, we cover it with a poop. Not a joop, but a poop. Um, but yeah, I, I just use that as an example. It's I, I just don't have time. I don't have time to chat. I don't have time to do anything because I'm either working on the show. I'm working on things over here. I'm working on a new development. Um, yeah, I, I do. I love you, buddy. Uh, so... That's that's the story. We're still going to be doing the SCW stuff. So we're and we're adding. Uh, I'm I'm excited to announce that we're adding the women's division. 100% will be finished for this Thursday night. Thursday night SCW will be all women's for the time being. Eventually we'll mix and match, but right now SCW will be win uh, will be Thursday night women's division, which I'm pretty excited for because so far. The women's matches have been some of the best damn matches I have seen in this simulation stuff. So um, it's going to be pretty damn awesome. Show and I will be there for the specials. Can't wait. Yeah, woot. Uh, I got Moist too. What's going on, Purple Army? Good to see you, man. There's another guy I don't get to play with anymore. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, yo, James, group hug. Bring it in, Subzilla. Come on, come on. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, bring it in. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Uh, adulting sucks. <laughs> Adultery, on the other hand. Damn. You're always moist, Fox. All right. So uh, let's end the show on a little bit of funness uh, before we get on out of here. Uh, save that for last. Oh, yeah, BB. So this is something I picked up a while ago. Um, I think I posted on Instagram, but I've not showed it on the show. This is the Power of the Primes. Rodimus Prime from Transformers, and it is amazing, it is detailed, it is bad freaking ass, but it's from Powers of the Prime, and um, they made an Optimus for this, and I think they made a Megatron for this, but it's not quite as cool as the old school Rodimus, this is old school Rodimus, uh, straight up, and he looks absolutely badass, and I thought about this, should I open him, should I not, and uh, the consensus in my head says, we're going to leave him packaged. I'm naked. Uh, moist for life. Ooh la la. <laughs> Love it. I do too. This is this brings me back to my childhood with the uh, p um, Transformers. I think that it's uh, freaking awesome. So detailed. And I think the individual fingers move. Oh yeah, my favorite. I mean, Optimus, Optimus will always be the leader, but I think Rodimus did a great job. Uh, my favorite Autobot of all time will be Wheeljack. I just loved Wheeljack, and my favorite Decepticon will always be Soundwave. Uh, but Rodimus is still pretty damn badass. Wouldn't expect anything less from you, Fatality. Yeah, the Rodimus Unicorn, uh, the Rodimus Unicrons look so badass too. I don't think I've seen this. Uh, voices by Judd Nelson. There you go. There you go. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna keep them in the package. Um, I'm not sure if the value has gone up because I've had this for like months. Uh, but I do like it, and I like that it's got the Matrix of Leadership right there. This is pretty badass. Math! Voiced by... Oh, I got you, I got you. Uh, I know, played with S Fox and K-Push for the first time in months. It, it's the same thing. Like, like I, I've, I've not played Rocket League maybe once this whole year. You know, and I do like Rocket League. It's easy, you know, it's it's you don't have to think about it. 
Uh, same, but black and purple. Oh, badass. Don't tell me that stuff. I'll buy it. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm going to get back into gaming. We're going to have like gaming nights and stuff like that where we can actually play with people and hang out and chat and bullshit and drink, you know, and just have a good time. That's something. That's the plan that I'm going to do. By having roughly two months off from the show, I will be able to just sit back and just be easy. Let the game run itself. I don't have to create content. So it's it's pretty awesome. And we get a new show co-host when we come back. Robert Allen Baker is going to go back to the garage and we'll have somebody else new here. Uh, I know Robert Allen Baker's like, really, bro? I just came back for the first time in like two months to say hi and you're getting rid of me? No, Robert. You'll be back eventually. Uh, boom. Yeah. Uh, Frank Weller's my favorite voice actor. He was Megatron, Soundwave, and Dr. Claw. Yo. Gadget. Ha! Uh, Fox, does he? He sucks at Fortnite, too. It's true. I suck at Fortnite very, very well. Jesse, I sent a PS4 friend request. Would be good to get some time. Uh, is it under two cockies or under something else? Let me know, because, um... I have a on PlayStation. I'm not going to friend them. All. Eventually, maybe. There's a lot. I'm glad we whispered that. Uh, okay, so it is too cocky. All right, I, I will definitely pick you up, man. It'd be great to play some games. I'm not. I'm not lying. It would. Um, uh, <laughs> it calls me a noob. You are a noob. Uh, Thalia, uh, wait, I need one more squeeze <laughs> to tide me over. <sighs> Banana Fosters. <laughs> uh, no, Jizzy, damn, we were talking about K-Push. Oh, yeah, K-Push sucks, too. Uh, flex much? Beesh. Awkward. Yes, yes, yes. Um... It's like people like don't even talk in the show will send me a friend request. Like, I don't know who you are. And they'll have a different name. Like, Lethal's name will be Lethal here, but he'd be like, you know, um, Phil. <laughs> He'll be Phil. And I don't know who Phil is. He's like, oh, come on, bro. Send me down. All right, one more thing, and then we're gone. All right. So uh, I told you today that I picked a Marvel Legend. Well, when a deal is um, upon us, I always pop on it. And I don't know if DMK is still here or not, but Walmart recently stopped displaying their pops. And everybody's like, well, Walmart's done selling pops. And a lot of Walmarts have said that. But Walmart recently changed their game. They are actually making an adult section in Walmart that is selling like adult uh, or toys aimed towards adult. And the one that I went to today turns out that they had an aisle starting where they have pops and McFarlane figures and um, like arc small arcade machines like that one right there. And I'm like, oh, cool. And at the back end, at the very, facing the back of the store where the damn televisions are, was a pop display, and I hadn't seen this in a while, with this. The Avengers Infinity War Walmart exclusive Thanos in the purple. They made five or six different colors of all the Infinity Gems. Uh, six, then. They made six Infinity Gem colors of Thanos, and they had them all. Red, orange, green, blue, purple, mm, yellow. They had them all there, and I decided that I was just going to get one of them because mm, gluttony needs to stop. And I picked up the purple one because he's purple. It's Thanos. I think it's his color, and um, not according to the movie, uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, according to the movie, no, it's not. Never mind. Anyway, purple Thanos. I, I can't, I can't finish that. Has that section now by the video games. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody that thought that Walmart was done selling pops and stuff like that? No, no, no. They rebranded themselves and now they have the adult section now. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, see, Big Daddy Juggle gets it. Uh, Lethal PSN, smell like Ikea, don't it? What? <laughs> Noise. Nickel and the Donkey Toys at Walmart, yes. Uh, color of right royalty. That's true. Purple is the color of of royalty. It's what they chose back in the day. Purple is my favorite color. Well, not well. It's top. Um, let's see if it's still here. There it is. Yeah. It, it goes well with my purple jacket. This is purple. I know it doesn't look it, 
But this jacket is uh, my purple dress jacket, and I wear it for only special occasions. <laughs> Lethal PSN, Drew Barrymore. So I think we will uh, we will put the jacket on. So what I heard about pop culture section is true. Yeah, pop culture section. There you go. There we go. Now I'm feeling frisky, fly, and all that jazz. All right, they hid them. They did. They did. Um, that's where I got my Scary Terry figure last night. At the Oh, sweet. So yeah, we did pick up the uh, Thanos Walmart exclusive purple one. And that, my friends, brings us to this. Ah, no. Ah, no. Delve! So, uh, this is the Nerdy Effect 5.0 season finale. My question to you guys, all 39 of you, what did you guys learn tonight? What did you guys learn on this uh, two-hour special? Uh, and you have a lovely purple kilt. It's true, I do. Uh, and uh, my purple kilt came courtesy of Purple Army, who is 100% born, bred, and blood Scottish. So I got an official Scottish kilt from a Scottish man. I feel like I've um, I've graduated by having that, and I wear it. I wear it from time to time, man. I can't wear it all the time. It's not. They're like, ah, oh, look at that guy in a dress. No, no. Uh, but I do wear it. Uh, fancy, lush, and curvy. Oh, fancy. Uh, Walmart now sent an adult toy section. Kinda, yeah. Uh, I'm Scary Terry. Welcome to your nightmare, bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, Paul, if you like Scary Terry, you need to check out Freddy's Ready. I'm telling you, Freddy's Ready on Twitch. I learned that you work too damn hard. It's true. I learned 6.0 comes after 5.0. I appreciate that. That you work too much. I learned that I shouldn't have ate all the fajitas. And Christoph shouldn't have ate that burrito. Not burrito. Chimichanga. Uh, I learned that Tukaki likes it when five men enter him. Uh, I learned I'm going to be on a Christmas show. <laughs> That's the best one, Orca. Uh, I learned that you need a long break. Uh, toy boxes are full of dildos. That's true. What did you learn? Is sponsored by SNK Clothing Store and Lens Crafters. Uh, I learned that you will set fire to neighbors' home to steal their comics. I didn't do it. There's no proof. Um, I learned that I'm going to be on a Christmas show with Orca and Nerdy. <laughs> yeah, there he is, right there. Um, right there. Freddy's ready. Make sure you follow Freddy's ready. I'm telling you right now, Paul, 100% worth it. Uh, love Freddy's ready. He's the bomb. Okay, cool. You know about him then. Uh, kilt is not a dress. It's a man's skirt. <laughs> no, I don't think that that works either. Uh, I learned that boo windows are rad. Um, that you will miss OG, that you miss the OG NC. That's true. I do. Uh, learned that you're all awesome. Take care. J-Dub laying down the groundwork there. Uh, Freddy the man. Freddy is the man. Like that dude put serious work into his show. Um, that's another thing. Like I haven't had time to even do the new, um, the bit graphics and stuff. Like I've, I've recorded, I think 30 new ones. Still haven't had a chance to do it. I learned moon pies are yum yums. They are, they are fan damn tastic moon pies and goo goo clusters. Those two. Oh my God. It is like a fat kid heaven. Uh, I learned that I will be on the Christmas show too and cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can use Robert Allen Baker. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, show might need to get a kilt. I'm telling you, kilts are awesome. Like you would not believe this. And I, I've, I've told the story a couple times. Whenever I wear the kilt, there's like a magnet. Like people just gravitate to the guy wearing a kilt. And fun times are always had every single time. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, moon pies. Moon pies are fantastic. Freddy is my dad. That's a fact. Uh, pirate booty is the bomb. Yeah. Uh, lethal, you're not father. Lethal, not your father. Not your father, Lethal. I learned that I need more pops. Dude, Paul, this is a dangerous show. It's a dangerous show to be a part of. I want a kilt. You need a kilt. Fat well, no, 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 no. They don't make kilts long enough to uh, to help you, Fatality. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm sorry. I break the news. Other than that, Freddy thinks he isn't my father, old tough ass. That's your father, bitch. Uh, okay, nothing under your kilt. Show. <whistles> yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, um, it's it's always it's always sad whenever we uh, when we hit the end of a season because 65 episodes that's a lot. Now, when you compare 65 episodes to previous seasons of Nerdy Effect, I think last year was 76. I think we did 76 last year, and then the previous one we did 80, 85 or 86 um, episodes, and that's a lot. I mean, we're we're under our quota. 
But I also don't consider the 20 plus comic streams that we did. They're not considered a nerdy effect show. I know that sounds dumb, but for my my quality, this is the show. What when I'm showing the comic books, that's comic vault. That's not part of the show. So then you take 65, then you add 20 plus to it, and now we're almost at 90. And that's that's a lot of episodes. And then you include uh, the ASMRs, which I don't include in shows. Um, you include the weekend shows that I did that aren't archivable because of the music. Um, things like that. I mean, stuff does build up. I mean, I know hands down I'm over 100 episodes just in me doing this crap, okay? Not including the wrestling. And there's only 365 days. That's a lot. That's a lot of content. So, um, yeah, 65 episodes is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good for... 10 months. Pretty good. Uh, too cocky, I agree. I, I learned Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to suck. I'm sorry, man. I still want my kilt, Purple Army. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind revealing my goods. It's true, you don't, and you shouldn't, because it's a piece of artwork. I'm part Scottish. I was born with a kilt. Yeah. Um, I quote Noob Noob. God damn! <laughs> Oh, that was perfect. Uh, thanks for putting an effort to entertain us and connect with the viewers. Uh, you are definitely one of the best streamers. Thank you very much, Dahlia. I really do. I appreciate that. That's a lot of time. It is. It's it is, it's a lot of time. It is. But, you know, personally, on, on the true non-jizzy note from me, it's worth it. It 100%. It is... Truly worth it. I read, I read, I read fucking Tukaki's comment in the middle of that. Uh, <laughs> after our nerdy is coming soon, gear. Uh, are you moving in with Jekyll? Yeah, apparently we're gonna start our own Big Brother season at Jekyll's house. I love you, noob noob. Uh, so video games at the show. I'll be on. Not tonight. Not tonight. Um, I've really enjoyed the shows this season. Can't wait for six point Thank you very much, Shay Shy. Uh, nerdy effect after dark coming soon again. Uh, I also part Polish. I was born in the Battle of Potato Vodka and Sausage. Uh, English Beauty, thank you. Uh, Peter, Peter, you try too hard. You're not Superman. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's all 100% worth it. It, it is. It, it's worth it just for the family aspect of what happens in this show. It's, it's worth all the time in the world. And to me, personally, it's worth more. I just... I don't, I don't have the energy right now. I, I do my damnedest to be here. Um, but yeah, if I don't take a break, it's going to be bad. So unfortunately, we have reached the end of Nerdy Effect 5.0. We've hit it. We've hit our wall tonight. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I love you guys. I love every one of you that's in here. Um, anybody that's just out there lurking and just hanging out, watching the, the crazy guy in a purple jacket just do his thing. I love you guys as well. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for um, awesome 65 episodes. When we come back for 6.0, I promise you it's going to be a better show. I will deliver a better product that is uh, more seam, uh, more seamless and hopefully a lot more fun. So that's my dedication to you. That's my promise to you guys. Um, not goodbye forever, just goodbye for now. So... With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jizzy, J-I-Z-Z-Y. This is the Nerdy Effect. Tonight, we have been rocking the Northwest Territories flag for the very first time because it's a territory, not a province, not a country, lethal. We learned something tonight. So this here nerd circle right here, I want you to take with you Deliver some fun and awesome things throughout the lands that you walk. And say hi to the Norval Rogers who just got back. Here is my final nerd circle from 5.0 to you guys. Take it! Be well! Be merry! It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> la 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 la. Don't go anywhere. It's the Nerdy Effect 5.0. 5.0. 5.0. <laughs>
a nerdy effect. Nerdy effect. Yeah. 